Magandang araw, go negosyantes. Welcome sa isa na namang araw na umaapaw sa inspirasyon at mga payong pang negosyo. I'm Bam Aquino, ang inyong partner sa pagduklas ng mga winning go negosyo attitudes ng ating small and medium entrepreneurs. Dito lang yan sa SME Go! At ang destinasyon natin, walang iba kung hindi ang napakagandang lalawigan ng Rizal, kung saan aalamin natin ang kahalagahan ng creativity sa pagninegosyo. Ano pang hinihintay natin? Wala, kaya let's go! Ang probinsya ng Rizal ay kilala bilang home of the artists. Ilan sa mga tanyag na Rizalenyo sa larangan ng sining ay sina Carlos Botong Francisco, Vicente Manansala, at Maestro Lucio San Pedro. At ang pagiging masining ng mga Rizalenyos ay nagbigay daan din sa mga creative business ideas tulad ng mga papasyalan natin ngayon. Hello, Rem. Hi. How are you, Rem? Hi. Rem, Balao Balao is one of the most sick restaurants here in Angono. But actually, this is already a 30-year-old restaurant. Can you tell us about it? Yes, one day. I bought my father for a big art project. I bought my art studio. There are a lot of friends. may bisita sa kanya. Mm -hmm. Pinagluluto niya. Mm -hmm. Sabi sa kanya, ba't di ka magkaya ng restaurant? Okay, and at that time, yung tatay mo ba eh, mga kakaibang dishes na kagad yung ginagawa niya? Alam ko sa una, sa maliit pa kami, mga typical dishes lang. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, parang canteen pa nga siya nun. Okay. Tapos, uh, siguro, mahilig din siya kasi mag-research eh. Mm -hmm. Mag-travel sa lalawigan ng resort. Mm -hmm. So, nakakuha siya ng mga idea. Tapos, mm -hmm. uh, Like, mga katutubong pagkain dito sa Rizal. Like, yun like, nga, yung mga baboy na mo. Uh, sawa, bayawak. Yung mm, typical na... Pagkain dito? Actually, yan siya. Um, pang add-on lang talaga siya. Mm -hmm. Parang pang come on sa mga customer. Okay. Pero may ilig siyang magluto ng mga sinigang. Kasi uh, malapit kami sa dagat. Mm -hmm. sa so, yun ang special din yun. Mga sinigang, mga... mga Balaw-balaw is a delectable appetizer and sauce that Tagalog serve with sinigang. It's made from small shrimps mixed with rice gruel and angkak, an herb that gives reddish coloring. The mixture is preserved and fermented in earthen jars for three days. Okay, so Rem, we were talking about kaya yung mga special dishes na den, de ba? Ani yung apat na dishes dito? Wala ka, frog legs. Agawin natin siyang adobo. yung uok. Okay. Yung, yung larvae na kumakain ng uh, uh, kahoy ng coconut. Okay, ito naman. Ito yung next, uh, soup number five. Cotton balls ng baka. Ng baka, ba diba? Appetizer natin yung crispy alagaw leaf. Mm -hmm. siya, alagaw yung ginagamit siya sa ano siya, herbal uh, leaf siya. Mm -hmm. Na ginagamit na pang gamot sa stomach ailments. Din. Naging, naging positive ba o negative yung exotic food yung menu ninyo? Ang add na siya ng mga tao, lalo yung mga adventurous na type na gusto nga mag-try na kakaiba. Mm -hmm. So, marami mga tourist, mga estudyante, mga adventurous na, yun, yun ang in-order nila mostly. Kung may top 3 dishes na dapat uh, matry ko dito sa Balaw Balaw, ano yun? Sinigang na kanduli sa miso. Rem, pagdating sa restaurant business, uh, ano yung pinakamalaking challenge ninyo? So, pag mga typical day, uh, 
konti lang ng isa ng mga customers. Pero pag weekends, malakas kami. Naubusan minsan kami ng stop. Mm-hmm. So, sa mga challenges namin, um, pangyan namin sa LPP. Uh, Dapat lagi may uuok oh. sa inyong menu. So, kung wala uuok, <laughs> ibang, ibang, ano naman, ibang putain. May mga viewers tayo, gusto pumasok sa restaurant business. Ano yung pwede mong ipayo sa kanila? Magkaroon sila ng passion, tapos uh, imagination sa pag-isip ng mga recipes. Pag silang mabigo, alam ko, kasi pag isang bago lang customer, uh, darating na darating na. Parang may time na uh, excel. Simula pa lang kami. Uh, Siyempre, kailangan makilala ka muna by, by, by time. Uh, makikilala ka rin. Tinayo ang Balaw Balaw Restaurant noong 1982 ng artist na si Perdigon Bukalan, Amani Rembrandt. Dahil sa kanyang creativity, naisip niyang pagsabayin ang dalawang bagay na kinahihibigan niya, ang sining at ang pagluluto, sa pamamagitan ng Art Gallery at Restaurant in One. Josie, alam mo, itong result talagang home of the artist. Napaka-inspiring dito. Pero parang gusto kong magkape. May alam ka bang art and coffee place at the same time? Yes, I have the perfect place for you. Go and check out the Atelier Cafe. We'll send you the complete address. Okay, salamat. Catch the next run of the Super Sale Bazaar happening on July 13 to 15, 2012 at the World Trade Center, Manila. For more information, visit www.supersalebazaar.multiply.com Isang kilalang artist si Sir Nemi o mas kilala pa bilang Nemi Randa. Ngunit para mas makilala siya, pati na rin ang mga iba pang artist tulad niya, in-explore niya ang iba pa niyang kakayanan at pinagsama ang angking creativity at business sense. Ang resulta? ang Nemiranda Art House at may cafe atelier pa. Marami mo nagsasabi na kung isa kang artist, usually mahina yung pagiging negosyante mo. Yeah. But in your case, mukhang napagsasabay niyo naman po yung business side and the art side. Baka yeah. you can tell us more about that. Uh, I would say the business side is just accidental mm-hmm. to my passion as an artist. I have From being a child, I was uh, uh, talagang uh, doon lang nakatutok yung aking mindset sa pagiging artist, to draw, to paint. And uh, even my parents would say, there's no money mm-hmm. in being an artist. Look at the people around you who are artists, and you see they're hungry. There's no money in the art, so uh, might as well take up something. Pero iba yung conviction ko kasi I was not looking at money. I was just looking at the personal satisfaction, mm. your passion. Uh, you're happy with the way, with the things that you do. I tend to use all sorts of mediums for me to, to grow as an idea. And uh, by doing so, uh, it gives me also the opportunity to organize uh, our art group in Angono, because being a starting artist, you go to the gallery and nobody will really take care to look. Walang hong papansin Walang po sa inyo. Walang papansin, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, yung aming grupo ngayon, na kakapag-exhibit kami sa iba't ibang gallery already in Metro Manila. Mm-hmm. At doon naman nagsimula na at least yung pangalang ni Miranda ay nakikilala unti-unti. No? Mm-hmm. But uh, to start with uh, as an artist, talagang mahirap mag-loom. Nag-organize kami ng youth uh, atelier in Angono. Eh, nagsimula yung mga ano ito, nagpa-participate sa mga competition to mga batang ito. Eventually, tinayo namin yung art club nila. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ina-handle namin. Eh, sila na yun, mga anak ko. Ito yung mga new crop of artists, new generation, mm-hmm. uh, uh, next generation to us, na nag-bloom, na ito ang nagparami ng artists sa kasalukuyan. Mm-hmm. In ang ono, since naman yung mga artists was depending on me, for the uh, market side, that uh, when people come and visit my house, mm-hmm. 
they bring also their works here. The gallery na ito was uh, recycled from the old convent of Angono. Really? My house has, is built from the old wood of the church of Angono. Isa ang pumibili lang ako, tambak ko lang ng tambak yan. Pag naririyan na, unti-unti. Yeah, lagay-lagay niya lagay na po. Oo, dagdag lang ng dagdag. Pag may pupunta rito, ang tanong agad eh, saan pa kami pwede pumunta? Mm-hmm. Ano yun pa ba kaming artist na pwede puntahan? So, ganun. So, if that will be the case, sabi ko, di, sinasabi ko nga doon sa mga artist, ayusin yung studio niyo. Uh, visitors might come to your house. Maganda rin ka kung image sa isang artist, maganda yung studio niya. Yeah. So, it lifts you as an artist. So, that, that's marketing, basically. That's marketing. Ano yung mga tips niyo po para sa mga nanonood who, you know, who, who want to be artists but are afraid na mahirap po yung buhay o di kaya eh, hindi talaga alam ko ano yung mga next steps. No? If, if, if you could give some advice to them, what would you give? Unang-una, kailangan pagalingin mo ang iyong sarili, yung craft mo. Dahil uh, hindi naman dito pinag-uusapan ng magna cum laude ka ba sa eskwelahan mm-hmm. o ikaw ba eh, merong uh, mga ano-ano degree. Mm-hmm. So dito sa aming career na ito, you don't need a diploma. Ang diploma mo yung trabaho mo. Yung makikita ng tao, yung, yung, yung toughness mo, skills mo. Ikalawa is uh, kailangan din talagang may konti kang PR. Mm-hmm. Uh, get to know the people uh, in the art scene. Kailangan ng artist meron siyang dingding na makikita yung kanyang trabaho. Kailangan nakakalat yung trabaho niya sa gallery. That's part of uh, marketing mm-hmm. ano, aspect. No? But uh, more than anything else, sarili niya ay uh, uh, binibenta rin niya. Let's do it! Asia's biggest 4-in-1 franchise show is back. The Philippine Franchise Association invites you to start your journey to success with Franchise Asia Philippines 2012 on July 25-29 to at the SMX Convention Center. Hello! Hi! Hi. Hello! Hello, sir! Tell us about your love affair with Malunggay. Saan ho nagsimula yung passion nyo for Malunggay? Uh, with Lauren de Garda. <laughs> okay. The passion for Lauren de Garda or for Malunggay? For Malunggay. <laughs> okay. In mid-2008, uh, I read uh, si Lauren de Garda mm-hmm. na pinapropagate o pinapromote ng Malunggay. Mm-hmm. Before that, uminom na rin ng Malunggay tea. Mm-hmm. Pinapakulong ko yung, ano, yung, yung green leaves and mm-hmm. then I drink it. No? Lalagay ko sa refrigerator, pag ready ko na kainin, lagyan ko na kalamansi, lagyan ko na honey. So, I have an iced tea, you know? So, yun nga, lumabas na maze ako. Talagang, it's really God-given yung, ano, yung nutrients at saka, no? You can just imagine na uh, there are 46, ano, antioxidants and 90 nutrients ang malunggay. Malunggay or Moringa oleifera is a popular plant known for nutritional value as well as herbal medicine. It's a plant that grows in the tropical climate such as the Philippines and is widely used as vegetable ingredients in cooking, as herbal medicine for a number of illnesses and many other practical uses. Sabi nga nung isang taga DTI na nakilamit ko San Francisco, you cannot just do it alone. You have to be in a group to do that. You know? So, ginawa ako, nag-join ako na isang Pero marun, marun galing foundation, okay. no? And then, automatic, when I told them about my idea, binili nila. So, sabi niya, let's work on it. It's a good idea, no? Magandang future dito sa Malunggay. Because 
we're not only helping uh, yung mga gagamit, but mm-hmm. also the farmers. Exactly. Because yung mga farmers, eh, siyempre, mm-hmm. pag kinali mo yan, in a few months, may, bula, may dahon na yan. Mm-hmm. And then you started the uh, harvesting, you know? Mm-hmm. And then we started buying from them, mm-hmm. and then we process it, and here ito. it is, no? And here ito. it is, no? Okay, sir, ito hong malunggay, where is this sourced? Uh, ang nakikita nyo ngayon is freshly harvest doon sa farm namin sa Morong. So ito, galing to mismo sa mga farms, pinutol, ito na ho yun kaagal? Opo. Yeah. Okay. Tapos sinuhugasan po sinuhugasan siya? Sinuhugasan ito. No? Ito ang process namin. Mm-hmm. Uh, may content chlorinated no? para mawala yung mga residue do. These are organic. No? Ito naman yung dryer namin. I see. So hindi na ho binibilad? No? Hindi na binibilad. Mm-hmm. No? Pagka dry na ho yan, it will be... Pulverized, no? Apo. Okay, and that will eventually become our... Yeah, raw materials. Our raw materials, okay. And uh, the way you know, that um, uh, you, you develop your products, is mayroon po yung mga partners who actually also manufacture the other products. So you provide the... You provide the malunggay powder to them. Yes, ang um, mga marami kong produkto. Eh. Mm-hmm. Siguro nagugulat ka, ang dami yan, no? Mm-hmm. If I have to buy all those equipment, doon lamang wala na akong kapital. Apo, yes. So what I did was to... Talk to to manufacturer mm-hmm. na famous sila. Mm-hmm. Well, let's say for example the shingaling. Mm-hmm. I went all the way to the province and looked for the best uh, shingaling mm-hmm. manufacturer. And I talked to them. Do you do this for me? And uh, we will just add the malunggay. Mm-hmm. You know, pwera yung MSG, pwera mm-hmm. yung mga ibang uh, preservative. So ito, this is already pag. Uh, These are the finished products. Finished product na pusha. This will go to. The, uh, which companies? What type of companies? Iba iba yung bakeries, yun yun yung uh, pinagpapagawa namin ng cookies, mm-hmm. no? Pinagpapagawa namin ng uh, snacks. Mm-hmm. Kami control namin ang ang malunggay. Mm-hmm. We just wanna make sure na amin yung malunggay malinis at uh, sigurado dahil kung hindi sa amin di kami sigurado ng puro o mm-hmm. hindi yun eh. Kami yun. yung seller ko is the malunggay instant tea because mm-hmm. kami lang meron yan. Sa mga snacks. The shingling and the corn snack. <laughs> Yan ang mga okay. sellers talaga. So, so ang buka ito is, dapat bawat lang mesa, merong malunggay. Okay. Parang asin, paminta. Sir, meron ba tayong advice para sa mga nanonood na gustong pumasok sa ganitong negosyo or gusto pumasok sa negosyo in general? Yeah, ang mga advice ko lamang is, pag uh, nag-isip ka ng isang negosyo, put your heart into it. No? Huwag yung kabago-bago, isipin nyo kagad yung kikitain. Mm-hmm. Uh, kailangan talaga uh, ilagay mo sa puso mo yung uh, produkto ng ilalabas mo at maliwala ka. No? And then, things will, will follow. follow. At sa puso ko ninyo, may, may malunggay doon. May malunggay. <laughs> <laughs> si Sir Pete ay pro-health and wellness advocate. Nakita niya ang potential ng malunggay kaya't pinag-aralan at pinaseso niya ito para maging beneficial products. A good raw material backed up with research and creativity. Yan naman ang sikreto ng MLGS Herbal Products. Dito sa Go Negosyo, nagpupugay po kami sa mga kababayan nating nagsisikap para mapabuti ang kanilang pabumuhay tulad na lamang na magigiting na Pinoy seafarers na nakasama natin sa mga recent events. Alam natin na marami sa mga seafarers ngayon, talagang mad, uh, matagal silang nawawala from their families. For months, nasa barko sila. And then when they come back, parang ang nagiging problema is paano nila palalaguin yung mga pinaghirapan nilang pera. So, kaya nga kami nag-partner with Go Negosyo and DPI is to educate them, uh, to, to give them options, you know, to tell them what it is that they can do in order to grow their hard-earned money. Hindi rin siyempre pahuhuli ang mga aspiring entrepreneurs na nakilala natin sa MBA at MathBex 2012. Um, our sixth year and our theme for this year is back to basics basically we're promoting a healthy eating lifestyle for everyone since everyone's so stressed about uh, from school from work you know so it's uh, promoting uh, that the eating 
healthy eating habit mo start at home. And basically, it's to help industries, no? basically the food and beverage industry to boost sales, that's one, uh, promote awareness of their products, and lastly, to um, encourage fellow, um, in the fellow uh, entrepreneurs to um, ride the entrepreneur wagon. No? It's uh, giving them an avenue that they can have uh, with businesses, open up new franchise, or uh, start up their own catering business through MathTix. At paano magtatagumpay? Yung sinasabi na dalawang T. Una yung T, tagumpay. May dalawa pang T, which is stay positive. Yung positive mindset na aming sinusulong mula ang bisa pa. Yan ang, yan ang critical factor eh. Kung bakit sino yung nagtatagumpay, sino yung magiging successful. Pangalawa is really yung tama, let's go to the pangalawang T is yung tamang kaalaman. No, yung competence na pagpapatakbo ng negosyo. If you wait for the perfect timing, the perfect circumstance, you know, the perfect conditions, it never comes. So if the idea is good enough, do it, you know. But do it with, you know, resources that you already have. You know, resources that you're willing to risk. With resources that you're willing to gamble with. For us, entrepreneur, entrepreneurship is the target. No, employment is just a stepping stone for us. When I graduated, ang unang sinabi ng nanay ko, oh, sabi ko, ma, which company are going to put me in? Sabi niya, no, you go look for a job related to your course. Learn what you can so that you can apply it in our business. The difference between this, putting up a business, you measure your risk. Eh. Alam mo kung anong pwede mangyari. At the end of the day, or after, at, at the end of the year, talo tayo ng isang million, no? expected na. Alam mo yun? I'm not saying na expect mo malugi ka. Pero ito, at least, alam mo, you did your best. And you will never know until you try it. Go Negosyantes, maraming salamat muli sa inyong pagsama sa amin sa lalawigan ng Rizal. Sana po'y nakatulong kami sa paglago ng inyong kaalamang pangnegosyo. Abangan ang ating next destination. Ako po si Bama Kino at ito ang SME Go! Huwag kalimutang bumili ng Go Negosyo Books, lalo na ang pinakabagong 50 inspiring stories of young entrepreneurs kung saan kasama ang kwento namin ng aking business partner. Available po yan sa lahat ng leading bookstores nationwide. Need advice on how to start and run your business? We're just a text and click away. Text GO NEGO to 2910 for Globe and Smart and like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash official or log in to www.gonegosyo.net Huwag din kalimutan tumutok sa Go Negosyo sa radyo every Friday 2 to 3 p.m. sa DZRH para sa Metro Manila at Radyo Natin para naman sa mga provincial areas. At kung interesado kayo sa social entrepreneurship, bumisita lang sa aming website www.happynoy.com Thanks to Collectione for my shirt on today's show. At mula sa Go Negosyo, maraming salamat sa ating mga annual partners. PLDT, SME Nation, Smart Communications, Meralco, RFM Corporation, BPI Family Kanegosyo, Avon Cosmetics, Multiply.com, The Orchard Property Marketing Corporation, Isuzu Philippines Corporation, LBC Express Incorporated, Value Line Systems and Solutions Corporation. At maraming salamat din sa mga kaibigan namin sa Department of Trade and Industry.